Today we're going to take a look at the amazing first touch of Ronaldinho and Dimitar Berbatov to try and learn some of the secrets behind that insanely soft cat paw like touch where they just kill the ball dead out of nothing. Here's Ronaldinho. And hopefully you can take home a learning or two from these absolute bosses so you can improve your game. First off, let's take a step back and look at what Berbatov and Ronaldinho actually do when they kill the ball completely without breaking much of a sweat. And keep in mind that while I am by no means as much of a master at this as they are, simply by looking at how they actually do it in action, you can already learn a lot. Looking at both these guys, you can see how they use their foot to dampen the ball in order to take out as much energy as they possibly can. And you'll probably also notice how they time their touch in order to hit the ball just before it hits the ground, in order to eliminate the bounce back and the rebound by minimizing the distance the ball has to travel after the touch before it hits the ground. And you can also see how they use their eyes to follow the ball at all times and constantly adjust their body position to make sure they have the perfect balance at the point of impact. And of course, they just love the football. Just listen to what Berbatov himself has to say. Be gentle with the ball. Don't hurt the ball. The ball doesn't want to cry. Imagine the ball to be your wife or your girlfriend, okay? Be gentle with it. And while it takes a lot of time to perfect, you can practice it, especially if you focus on finding the right technique on how to properly dampen the ball. Which is cool, because that is also one of the key elements in improving your overall first touch in your game. Now what you want to focus on here is to have a flexible ankle joint and also think about how you angle your foot. Because for this move, you want to use the toe part of your foot. Especially because your foot and your ankle joint can bend a lot that way, but it doesn't bend as much this way. And the more your foot can bend, the more power it can absorb out of the ball like a sponge. Now, as you get ready to touch the ball, you bend your foot up and point your toes up with it to create a bit of a cradle for the ball. And also you flex your ankle joint just a little bit, but nowhere close to the max. Then as the ball comes down, you wait until the ball is just above the ground. You of course move your foot under the ball and touch it very gently. And the fraction of a second after you've touched the ball, you loosen up the ankle joint to allow the foot to bend naturally from the impact of the ball. And also then you get your foot out of the way so the ball doesn't bounce off it. And because you are so close to the ground, the ball isn't gonna bounce much off of that either. Again, let me be very, very straight with you. You're not gonna become the master of this just by practicing a few hours here and there. No, this takes dedication for years. I mean, there's a good reason there's a few, few people out there who could consistently pull this off with such a silky control first touch as Berber and Ten Arcade. With that being said, you can practice this and become better at it by making it more natural. And you can do so by making a small square stand in the middle of it and then drop the ball from your hands and practice killing it dead. And you should only move on until you know exactly how your foot should behave in order to kill the ball dead more or less every time. After you're confident with that, you can start juggling the ball and then kick a little higher and killing it dead inside the square. And once you get more and more confident in your ability, you can challenge yourself by going higher and higher until you're ready to try and go for the ultimate Berbatov Ronaldinho swag show thing. Like this. Not entirely, so maybe I should just take my clothes off. Like this. To the next phase, you kick the ball. And you control it. Now, some of the common mistakes you want to avoid is to, of course, to hitting or touching or kicking the ball too harshly to get that rebound effect off of your foot. Also, try to avoid to kick it accidentally with your ankle or your shin pad because the ball's gonna go God knows where. And finally, you don't want to forget to point your toes up because you're gonna lose a lot of that dampening effect and the ball is just gonna bounce away. And everything here is gonna make the trick a lot harder to pull off. So help yourself and try and avoid this when you practice in the longer run. Well guys, let's not kid anyone here. This is a very difficult thing. 
otherwise everyone would do it. But at least these are some good guidelines and I hope that with some practice you're going to improve your overall game. But what should we do next? You should let us know as always in the comment section right down below. And if you feel like you want to slip your feet in that sexy ass Copa 19 plus, you can go grab a pair from unisportstore.com right over there. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go and subscribe with the notifications on to learn more epic football skills, which you can also do if you click the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. 